are two different ways to prepare cabbage kimchi. One which you may have heard of is pogi kimchi or whole cabbage kimchi. Pogi kimchi earned its notoriety outside of Korea with stories of kimchi being made and buried outside for the winter season. But today we're going to make mak kimchi which is a more, a more casual kimchi and much easier to make. I'll introduce the ingredients when we're ready to season the cabbage, but for now, let's prepare the cabbage. What I have here is about seven pounds of Napa cabbage and about half cup of kosher salt. What you wanna look for in Napa cabbage is uh, cabbage that is firm with nice frilly leaves. So what we're gonna do with the cabbage is trim the ends Turn it on its end, and here's the fun part. Here, we'll take, take these off. Cut it about a third of the way down, and then slowly split it apart. Um, and then just do that again, and then split it apart. And just do that with all the cabbages. So to continue cutting this, we're going to trim the heart or the rest of the stem and then we'll cut this into two inch pieces and just make sure you have, and just throw it in a large bowl. And after each cabbage, a generous sprinkle of salt and mix it up. So after a final toss, I'm going to just add one more generous layer of salt. Once the cabbage is prepped, I usually put a weight on it, about two dinner plates. Just place on top and press down. And after about an hour, you can give the cabbage a gentle toss and place the weight back on again. And then, as I said before, um, after two or three hours, uh, it should be ready to season. So we're going to make the sweet rice paste for the kimchi. You're going to take two cups of water and add one cup of the sweet rice flour over medium-high heat. And you're going to whisk that together and bring it to a boil. It's been a few hours now so the cabbage should be ready. I've let mine sit actually a little more than three hours. As you can see the volume of the cabbage has decreased uh, considerably and you see all the, the, the water that is leached out of the cabbage. We're going to take this cabbage, rinse and drain it with cold water in a colander. So now we're ready to make the sauce. I'm going to add about three quarter cups of gochugaru or red pepper powder, about a quarter cup of chopped sebojat or salted shrimp, about a little less than half a cup of sugar, and we have some minced ginger here. I used about a two inch long piece that I've minced. And this is about seven to eight cloves of garlic minced. And we have three tablespoons of fish sauce. Seven to eight stalks of green onions chopped. This is the sweet rice paste that we cooked over the stove. And it's about a cu a two cups that we've made. Now that it's cooled down, we're gonna add it to the sauce.
and this will give a nice texture to the sauce and it'll it, it will coat the the cabbage nicely and finally we're going to add about uh, this two carrots julienne and what my mom does is add um, some thinly sliced daikon and this is about this is a this is one root so this adds a little bit of sweetness to the kimchi and some nice texture and color I'll put that in now we're going to mix all the ingredients together you also want to make sure you you're working with a large bowl so you have room to mix everything together and then we're going to add this is clearly a little too thick we're going to add about half cup to three quarters cup of water so now that the ingredients are well mixed at this point you can adjust the seasonings let's just give this a taste Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more fish sauce. So you don't want this sauce to be too salty or too sweet. You just want a right balance between the two. And also I'm going to add some, maybe about a half cup more of water. Half cup to a cup. You don't want it too, you don't want it too thick. Once you have everything to your liking, you can let the sauce set for about 15 to 20 minutes so everything gets all melded together and um, absorbed. Now that the sauce is ready, we can mix everything together. We're just going to take our drained cabbage and add it to the, to the sauce. And at this point, you can put on a pair of gloves. Um, plastic gloves to mix everything but I'm just gonna dive in now I'm gonna mix everything together and make sure the cabbage gets well coated see the rice paste makes a nice coating on the cabbage allowing it to stick to the cabbage now we're ready to jar the kimchi I'm just going to use my hands again and just place everything into the jar. You won't fill it quite to the top. Now that we fill the jars, we're going to add a little bit of um, we're going to add a little bit of liquid to the jars. So to the bowl, I'm going to add about a cup of water. So now that we've added the water and got most of the remaining sauce, we're going to give it a taste. And we're going to add a bit of salt, basically to make salted water to add to the, to the jars. I'm just going to add about a teaspoon at a time. Maybe a little bit more. Again, you don't want it too salty. Okay, so you want it a little briny, kind of like seawater. And we're going to add the water to the jars, just covering the kimchi. So to help the liquid get to the bottom, I can just stick a large um, you can place a large spoon in the middle of the the jar and let the, the liquid seep to the bottom so this is about the right amount of liquid once the jars are sealed you can leave it on the countertop uh, at room temperature for about 24 to 36 hours um, and at that point you can give it a taste and once it gets that tangy sour taste it's ready to uh, be placed in the refrigerator and um, 
It can be kept in the refrigerator for up to three to four weeks. So this was my family's recipe for mat kimchi. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can have kimchi with anything, basically, steamed rice or ramen or pizza or hamburgers. I can eat it with everything. But um, I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you soon.